Yesterday, the Boston Red Sox found themselves in the middle of a huge controversy after the New York Times released a report saying that the Red Sox have been using the Apple Watch in the dugout to try to relay the Yankees' signs to its players. That could be considered cheating. Here's why that's a muddy situation. You see, it's legal to actually try to figure out some of the other team's signs and what they're doing or when they're trying to steal a base or throw a fastball. What's not legal is using technology to do so. You can't use binoculars, you can't sit around with electronics in the dugout, and you certainly can't use an Apple Watch to do that. And there's actually two sides to this story. Boston thinks the Yankees were also cheating. You see, they think the Yes Network and all of its cameras around the stadium were also helping the Yankees decode the Boston Red Sox signals. So where does that put us now? Well, it kind of made the Boston Red Sox look a little guilty yesterday, but the MLB commissioner told CNBC that neither side has been found guilty for either charge yet, and they're not even sure the charges certainly happened. All they can say is that whatever was ongoing is no longer happening. And for what it's worth, the Yankees and the Boston Red Sox declined to comment. Woo! Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.